The mother of five-year-old Ayur left him at the hospital in the East Siberian city of Ulan Ude when he was only four days old. When doctors asked Ayur's biological mother to be a liver donor for him, she refused. Moscow-based designer Natalia Burdina saw Ayur's photo on Facebook shortly after he had received a government-sponsored liver transplant from an unknown deceased donor. I was not planning to adopt, but I decided that I have to. Experts say until recently children with health or developmental issues rarely found new families in Russia. Disabled kids are seldom adopted. We are talking about hundreds per year. Ayur was lucky. Advocates complain the Dima Yakovlev law means thousands of other Russian orphans are missing out on a chance to find a home in America. This law is abhorrent. It's inhumane. It targets the weakest and the defenseless. The law passed after the U.S. imposed sanctions on Russian officials for the death of Russian lawyer Sergei Magnitsky in a Moscow prison in 2009. A public outcry against the law has failed to bring changes, but observers say it has triggered a public debate and changed the way Russians see adoption. There were a lot of stories in the media about Americans adopting our disabled children. From then on, the number of such kids taken out of the orphanages has grown. Statistics say more Russians are adopting children now, but challenges remain in the areas of socialization and independent living. Advocates say the key to improving the lives of children like Ayur is for Russians to continue to change their attitudes on adoption and invest in more humane practices to find children like him a home. Igor Tikhanenko, VOA News, Moscow.